Today, on a very special edition of Zoom, all the Zoomers are going to be in play called the Mixed Up Fairy Tale. Five, four, three, greeting. <laughs> I'm Little Bo Peep, and I'm going to play Cinderella. Rumpelstiltskin. I'm the Wicked Fairy Stepmother from Snow White. I play the Magic Mirror on the wall. Hark! What's that noise? for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! to take you behind the scenes of Zoom. The idea for this came from Carly M. of Queen Creek, Arizona. She wrote, Dear Zoom, what's it like to be on the show? I'm sure it's fun, but how much fun? Well, we're going to show you what it's really like. Come on! Five, four, know that we're all like regular kids and we're not these big superstars or anything we're just seven kids who are having fun and we hang around in the zoom zone that's just kind of like proof we just hang around and play and do whatever this is the zoom zone and this is where we hang out when we're not on set another person or an animal or something like that. Oh, isn't she the cutest thing? Mother, mother, I better have them grabby. Eric, he is a flexible freak. And I really like this place. It's a lot of fun. Just do everything to practice lines and to go on set. Will you marry me? Really, really, really fun. The tetherball unwinds and hits this chair, which lands on this lever, causing these weights to drop and knock this bottle off the table. Whoa, what's going on? Rachel, 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 Rachel. Francis is really silly, <laughs> and I like playing around with her because she's an awesome friend. <laughs> Everything's lots of fun on Zoom, so I can't say my favorite thing is just doing plays and stuff like that. Because I like playing games, the designers, the phenoms, all of them. Go! Oh, 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 it's lots of fun around here. Rachel, Rachel, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, Rachel, Rachel. 
Kenny is really nice to everyone, and he's really good at everything. He's awesome. But now we want to figure out what happens when you use when you use different types of strings, like like yarn on a fishing line. <laughs> Being on Zoom is really, really, really fun. Double it's Bubba, Bubba it's Bubba, Bubba Dubba, Hubba it's Bubba, Shubba it's Bubba Dubba, Bubba it's Bubba I, Subba Bubba, Strubba. My favorite subject in school is science, and we do zoom size, which are little experiments, and those are really fun because not only do you get to make things, you get to do experiments, and those are really really fun. and zoom on the saxophone too. She figured out all the notes and stuff so she can play it on the saxophone. I think my favorite segments, I like the Zoom Playhouse. What seems to be the problem? I can't eat this soup. I really like that because I think it's really cool to have different roles and it's really neat the stories that the kids send in. always happy. I've never seen Buzz sad or anything. He always has a great thing to say and he's very optimistic. I love working on Zoom because it's fun to hang out with the people on the crew and do plays and cafes. Andrea K of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's just fun to be on Zoom and make stuff and know like that you're being filmed and stuff. It's just really, really fun. I love Zoom. Rachel is good at almost everything. It's fluffy. It's got peanut butter. It's fluffy peanut butter dip. And Rachel, <laughs> she has this alter ego named Nancy. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. What's up? Nothing much. But I have to say it. I'm back! <laughs> I think it's really fun being a Zimmer because I'm working with really nice and fun people and all the zoomers are really cool and i'm really close to them and i feel like i've known them like all of my life right now we're just hanging out sitting on our bean bags and we're eating breakfast and after this, we'll go to the makeup room and get our hair done and our makeup and we'll get changed. <laughs> this room is the makeup room where you get your makeup and your hair done. This is Nicole, our makeup lady. This is Jill, our hair cutting lady. I'm going to get a haircut because it's very long. I am getting my hair cut. They have to make our hair look the same for every show because my hair is too long and it has to stay the same. Because we film the uh, different segments at different days, so I want my hair to look the same all the time for continuity purposes. Continuity means something, you know, something has to stay the same. Here is a dressing room and each Zoomer has their own special outfit. What I'm wearing right now is what I wear on the show. These are the kind of shoes we wear. We all wear jeans. We need to change now. Every day in the morning, we do a warm-up with Mara. Mara is our drama coach. Okay, we're going to do bang bang. Who bang bang? That's where we, like, exercise our mouths. So when we talk, we're not like, blah, 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 blah. Bang we do exercises and we sing, bang, bang, choo-choo, train, watch, whoever, like Caroline, do her thing. And then I say, I can. And then you guys say, And I say, I can't. And then I say, because my back is aching and my pants are too tight. <laughs>
And Jen and Arlisa are our kid wranglers. A wrangler. A wrangler. Wrangling is like, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight. in the zoom zone, bring us back and forth from the set to the zoom zone, bring them into wardrobe, bring them to makeup, make sure that they eat lunch, make sure they rehearse their lines, all that kind of stuff. That's wrangling. The minister's cat is a goofy cat. The minister's cat is a happy cat. The minister's cat is a Iowa cat. The minister's cat is a jumping cat. The minister's cat is a not worth eating cat. Then. Okay, clear camera, please. We all want to do a rehearsal. That's our stage manager, Pete. Pete? Is our stage manager, and people say we look alike. They call me Mini Pete, and they call him Maxi Buzz. This is the guy that they say I look like. It's true. I'm Maxi Buzz. And I'm Mini Pete. He like counts us down. Here in five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two. In today's Zoom Side Challenge, we have to get this Super Ball to go from this table to that table, and then back again. Zoom, this for me, is... Plurk. Plurk, which is work and play combined together. Plurk. You'll find cool cool cakes to bake, but uh, the, the yummies much next to munch on, fun games to play, and printable Zoom party invitations. Zoom is Plurk. Some people might think it's easy. It's easy. It's not that easy. I mean, it is sometimes a lot of work, but sometimes it's kind of hard. It's not hard. It's challenging. And kind of scary, but not that scary. But it's a lot of fun, and we have to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Twelve and gobble, twelve and gobble, love it, double saba. Hobble, wobble, wobble, gobble, wobble, gobble, saba. Hobble, wobble, wobble, gobble, wobble, gobble, saba. Hobble, wobble, wobble, You have to memorize your lines. You have to go over your line. Good, and Francis, you're doing soap opera one and soap opera two. Good. Will you, will you marry me? Oh, Biff, I, I... <laughs> if you didn't practice any of your lines, you would not know what you're supposed to say during the segment. Most speeds you have, most speeds you eat, most speeds you eat has, have, most speeds you eat has cheese and vegetables or pepperoni on it. Most speeds you eat has cheese, vegetables, or pepperoni on it. But have you ever had a pizza that has fruit on it? You can't be camera shy for sure. You can't be camera shy. That's our camera operator, Mark. If you're camera shy, it's not a good thing because you definitely do not want to be camera shy if you're in Zoom. Sometimes they get really close up to your piece. This is Howard. He's another camera operator. He's really cool. Hey, Kenny. Yeah, Kelly? What's worse than raining cats and dogs? I don't know what. Healing taxi cabs. Taxi, taxi. <laughs> this camera is camera on a stick. And it's the jib. That guy right there, Jeff, he runs it. And he can make it do anything he wants. Come over, He's camera on a behind, stick. Directly behind her. See, here it comes. Riding her. Hello. What? It's coming near me. Jeff is putting my mic back on. My microphone. See, it's hidden around here. It goes from right there, and it comes up through this hole in my shirt. Then it travels up and goes through my collar. This is the the mic room, the audio room. Chris works in here. So I put his Hello. He puts the sound on the show here. Like that. Like that. <laughs> we all have mics on. This is your microphone right here, friend. Okay, ready? The louder I talk, the higher it goes. This is Bob. He's our director. He basically controls what happens when we're on set. That looked really good. I mean, we got things to work out. That was really good. I'm trying to figure out a way to get this shot so that Kenny appears to be riding. So what we need to do is raise you up high enough so you appear to be riding on her. Basically, Bob takes all the things us Zoomers do, like games and plays, and makes it work for television. Eric, we're ready for your close-up. This way. Hey, guys! Guys, that's lunch! 
right now we're going to lunch. I need to put your smocks on. I need to put, put on my smocks so I don't get any food on my clothes. We're growing yeah, pepper and beans in my garden. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, I have some mashed potatoes. I have cornbread. I have ribs. And I don't know what this is. It, what is this guy? I don't know what any of the stuff I got in. After lunch, the big shebang, the big play. And <laughs> All the zoomers are going to be in a play called the Mixed Up Fairy Tale. Mixed Up Fairy Tale. A kid who watches the show sent in the play. All these characters are mixed up into one story. And a wicked stepmother. You got a frog prince. You got Cinderella. You got Rumpelstiltskin. And that's why it's called the Mixed Up Fairy Tale. I'm Little Bo Peep, and I'm going to play Cinderella. Rumpelstiltskin. I'm the wicked fairy stepmother from Snow White. I play the magic mirror on the wall. I also play the sheep from the Frog Prince, so... Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of the best Zoom playhouses, because everyone has great costumes, and I think it's a great idea for a play. It's hilarious. Today we bring you a mixed-up fairy tale from Joanna Ass of Cave Creek, Arizona. We're rehearsing the play, A Mixed-Up Fairy Tale, which we're going to do next on the show. Oh, you're right, oh wicked fairy stepmother. Snow White isn't pretty at all. Cinderella will never guess that my name is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? <laughs> What's this? An acrobatic frog fit? <laughs> bah, bah. This is my dress for Cinderella. This is my outfit for Little Bo Peep. This is my dress for the Wicked Fairy Stepmother. And no, the sheep. This is the back part of the horse. And those are the back legs. And then this is strapped around me. And I'm the front legs. To make the horse sound, I'm going to put these coconuts together. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my God. Careful where you step. Oh. Can we get a mop over here? Oh. Behind me is Snig, and he's the props master. Right now he's making scenery. I think he's making a tower so that Cinderella can climb up on for a play that we're going to do today. We only see it from the front, so we won't see the door. But you'll see it when it opens up? But you'll see it when it opens up. Okay. And then I put a rubber band on it to make it snap back. We use simple materials, just cardboard, rubber bands. You use the stuff that you, you can usually find around your house. Cardboard, tin foil markers. You know, anything you can just find laying around. We want Buzz to look ghostly. Yeah, he needs more backlight, though. The scene they're about to do, Buzz is the mirror on the wall, and Francis is the wicked fairy stepmother. I'm being turned into a mirror. They're doing a digital effect so that my face can come up on the mirror over there, and Buzz appears from the mirror. If she's looking in the mirror, she sees herself, and all of a sudden, Buzz just comes in and appears. It's looking very, very cool. Right now, Buzz is actually not in the mirror, but it looks like he's coming out of the mirror. And then there's Frances, and it looks like she's talking right to him, but she's really not. We've rehearsed the play many times, and we've gotten to our costumes and makeup, and we're ready to go. <laughs> Greetings, and welcome to Zoom Playhouse. Today, we bring you a mixed-up fairy tale by Joanna S. of Cave Creek, Arizona. Sheep, 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 sheepies, oh sheepies. Excuse me, have you seen my sheep? No, I haven't. Sorry, little bo peep. That's all right. Thanks anyway. Sheepies, sheep, 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 sheep. One of all. I'll prove it to you. <clears throat> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? Is it Snow White? No. It can't be she. Snow White is not as fair as me. You're right, oh wicked fairy stepmother. Snow White isn't pretty at all. There. 
You see? But I'm afraid there is one prettier than you. Who? Cinderella, of course. She's on her way to the ball. So am I. I must stop her. What can I do? I know. I'll walk her in the tower. Oh, and so good. <laughs> oh, Cinderella! Cinderella! Oh, boo -hoo -hoo. Oh, boo -hoo -hoo. There now, you're locked in. No. I'm off to the ball. No <laughs> way! No. Come back! I want to go to the ball. Oh, boo -hoo -hoo. Hark! What's that noise? You can guess my name. I cannot guess your name. Try. Okay. Is it Bob? No. Larry? Ed? No. And no. I know, I know. It's Edward. Oh, no. If you can't guess my name, I'll be going now. Oh, no, please don't go. Wait. <laughs> Frog Prince, of course. And I'm here to rescue your golden ball. I don't have a ball, but I'd sure would like to go to one. Huh? Never mind. I think you're in the wrong story. Well, that would explain it. Will you help me? Sure. Will you find out what the prince's name is for me? Of course. Oh, thank you so much. Don't let you. Cinderella will never guess that my name. Excuse me, have you seen my sheet? Uh, four legs, white puppy tail. Yes, yes, that's them. Uh, no, sorry. Thanks. <clears throat> Cinderella will never guess that my name is Runtle Silkskin. <laughs> I mean, Stumple Rillskin. Pickle Pigskin. Oh, what was it again? <laughs> Rumpel Silkskin. Oh yeah, thanks. I know, it's Rumpel Silkskin. Oh, why did my mother just name me Jack? I guess I'd better go back to the tower and tell Cinderella, now that I know the prince's name. Ah, what a lovely day to go to the ball. <gasps> What's this? A frog prince? Now I'll have a partner for the ball. Come to me, Gary. Let me give you a great big kiss. Uh, madam, you do know that kisses don't work correctly if you're in the wrong story, right? Oh, forget all that. Come to me. Look at Here comes my friend. Three. Two. Uh, what's happening? One. the tower. Here's the tower at last. Hey, Cinderella! I'm back! Oh, splendid! Did you find out his name for me? Yes, I did. It's Rumpel Pilkin. No. Stumble Dylan? No. It is Pimpo Pill Ring. No, wait a minute. Um, what was it? You're welcome, and goodbye. Well, now all I have to do is wait for Pickled Pigskin to come back. That's his name, isn't it? <gasps> He's back! So, have you guessed my name yet? Yes, it's Rickle Pigskin. I mean, wait, no, it's, it's Tickle Rillpin. Oh, won't you please, please just tell me? 
Well, I guess so. It's Pimple Children. Simple, real tin. Oh, oh, dash it all. Just call me Jeff. Come on, let's go to the ball. PBSKids.org or America Online Keyword, PBS Kids. Thank you. 